going down. I've got a letter addressed to Private John. It must be for you. Oh, yes. I've been expecting some mail. Here you go. Oh, Joy. It's from my girlfriend. I'm happy for you. I can't wait to find out what she's been doing. Dear John, thank you for your letter. Things have been very busy here at home. I've been working late shifts at the hospital, and I don't know how to break this to you, but I've met a nice young doctor on the night shift. We get along wonderfully, and he treats me really well. What I'm trying to say is, I like you very much, but I like him more. Sorry. Love, Chrissy. Are you okay? She's leaving me for a doctor! My little Chrissy has stumped me! It's today's roster. It says Private John is assigned corridor patrol. Henry is to report to Colonel Jackson for kitchen duty. And Clunk is to guard Frank's office. Here's a memo about some legendary Valley of the Mists. It says, We are very confident that we have found the exact location of the valley. That was hard work. It's closed. Gosh, it's a left-handed can opener. That doesn't seem to work. That should do the trick. Hey, Clunk, are you feeling hungry? I'm always hungry. Have you got some food? Maybe. What is it? It's, uh, it's Chef's Surprise. Mmm, I'd love some. Thanks. Here you go.
Are you okay? I feel a, a, a little strange. That's probably the anchovies. I told you already, those rooms are off limits. Sorry, I was just looking. How you feeling, Clunk? I'm feeling a little giddy. You really think you're a tough guy, don't you? I know I'm a tough guy. I've had Doc Einstein's super soldier treatment. And I'm as tough as they come. Tell me about the super soldier treatment. Okay. The Doc invented a serum that makes ordinary soldiers very strong. I was the first and last soldier to be treated. Are there any side effects to the super serum? No, I don't think there are any. Unless you call breast enlargement a side effect. Why were you the last soldier to be treated? The Doc has a better way to produce a super army. He's got some gadget that turns people into mindless lizard things. I don't know much about it. Does the super soldier treatment last forever? You bet it does. The only thing that can reverse it is a serum the Doc invented. So I'll be a super soldier until I die. I'd like to talk about something else. Okay. I don't think you're tough. I think you're a weenie. What did you call me? You heard me the first time. You are a weenie. Oh yeah? Go ahead and punch me. Then you'll see how tough I am. Go easy on me. <laughs> Who's laughing now? There seems to be an indentation on the pad. <laughs> it looks like the combination to a safe. I don't think anyone would mind if I tore this page out. That should do the trick. It's closed. It's locked. I just found a padlock key and plans to some sort of gadget. These may come in handy.
I was wondering if you could help me. You again? What are you still doing here? You need it for kitchen duty. This isn't another one of John's practical jokes, is it? Just to be sure you are telling the truth, who is the commanding authority in charge of kitchen duties? Colonel Jackson. Colonel Jackson? How could I have forgotten? I was supposed to report to him half an hour ago. Well, I guess you better hurry then. Yes, indeed. Good luck. I'll be back later. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. Excellent, my little dino friend. You successfully navigated the maze. Uh, greetings, Dr. Einstein. Anderson, I trust your flight from Rio was enjoyable? Uh, of course it was. I did the flying. What happened to your nose? Uh, I uh, ran into some uh, air turbulence on the way here. I thought you said the flight was good. Uh, yes, it was good, uh, except for the um, turbulence. Well, I should hope you have less trouble flying my airship. Indeed, uh, Doctor. I'd like to thank you for choosing uh, Flying Dutchman Airlines. I only use the best. If you don't mind me asking, what sort of creature is that? This small creature is a dino rat. A hybrid prehistoric beast with the intelligence of a rodent. It's the result of my earlier genetic experiments. You've done well. Your dino creature is escaping! Damn! Don't worry, Doctor. I'm sure your guards will retrieve it. The important thing is, your dino ray is a success. Indeed. Soon, I will make those dolts at the Science Academy sorry. Sorry that they ever laughed at me! Good heavens! It's their plan to take over the world using a race of dinosaur people! Hey, there's a key in here. There you go, Princess. You are free. Thank you, Joe. You saved my life. Hey, it ain't over yet. You call that a kiss? I hope Joe hasn't fallen into the midst of some dangerous jungle beast. It's been fun, but I think we should get out of here. They've closed the security door and sounded the alarm. I can hear footsteps. It must be the guards. We've got to do something. Azura, I have an idea. What is it? I'll show you.
I've searched everywhere. Where are they hiding? <laughs> Who's there? Those damn mannequins are so lifelike. I'm beginning to imagine they are real. They must have left the building before the security doors closed. They won't get far. <laughs> I'll say. What now? Don't worry, Azura. I'll get us out of this mess. I know you will, Joe. Did you see the guard enter the door code? I didn't have a clear view of what he was doing. But I think he pressed the blue button, then red, green, blue, then red again. Wow, that's a very impressive memory you have. Why, thanks, Jack. Ah, that's Joe. Yeah, whatever. I can't move it. Excuse me. Yes, Joe? I could try and guess the security door code. That would take forever. And unfortunately, we don't have that much time. The guards could be here any minute. Did you see the guard enter the door code? I didn't have a clear view of what he was doing. But I think he pressed the blue button. Then red, green, blue... Then, red again. Wow, that's a very impressive memory you have. Why, thanks, Jack. Ah, that's Joe. Yeah, whatever. Here goes nothing. Thank goodness! Let's get out of here! We must hurry back to my people! No, you go ahead. I'll stay here and make sure no one follows. Very well, Joe. I shall see you soon. I just hope I can find my way to her home. Hello, boy. I've got you a present. Here you go. Now ain't the time to be putting on a puppet show. I found this with the rocket plans. It's this! There's something inside. It looks like a rocket pack.
Azura! You're safe! All thanks to you, Joe. And to show you how grateful I am, I have a reward for you. Thanks, but what is it? It's a Tyranno horn. It's been handed down from generation to generation. Is it worth anything? It's priceless. Doesn't look like it's worth very much. When blown, it makes the sound of an angry Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is a symbol of my people's strength. And now it is yours. Well, it's been fun. But I got other things to take care of. Like getting my plane out of the river. Hold it right there, King. You know my name? I know all about you. Who are you? That's the evil Dr. Einstein! He's the man who kidnapped me! I followed you here after you escaped from my secret camp. I have this place surrounded by armed guards. What do you want with us? I have a little job for you, Mr. King. There is a crystal skull hidden deep within an ancient temple on Sloth Island. I would like you to find it for me. Why should I do that for you? Why? Because if you don't, I will transform every last one of your Amazon friends into dinosaur women. Don't listen to him, Joe! My first victim will be the beautiful Princess Azura. Okay, I'll do it. But what makes you think I can find the skull? You got past my security and rescued Azura. That was quite a feat. If anyone can find the skull, you can. Do I have your word that you will release the Amazons? Of course you do. I am a man of honor. Well, I guess I got a skull to find. I'll be back. Good luck, Joe. Things are really hot enough now.
Hi, Chief. I need to call upon your wisdom again. Sure thing. How may I help you? Do you know about the temple on Sloth Island? Of course I do. The sacred temple was built by Prince Almaxaquatl to honor our gods. We are forbidden to enter it, and I suggest you do the same. Why are you forbidden to enter the temple? Because it is a dangerous place for the unwary. It is full of secret passageways and unknown dangers. Those who enter, never leave. What's inside the temple? The tomb of Prince Almaxaquatl lies within, as well as treasures left behind by the gods. But heed this warning. Nothing inside must ever be touched. Ever. Who's Prince Almaxaquatl? Is he a relative? No, not at all. He was the leader of an Incan kingdom who vanished shortly after building the temple. What happened to them? Legend says that a curse struck them and no more male children were born. Some say that the all-female kingdom survives to this very day, hidden in the jungles of the Amazon. Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Have you ever heard of a crystal skull? Who told you about the sacred crystal skull? Um, some people that I know. Is there a problem with that? No one is supposed to know about the sacred skull. Only a select few know of its existence. Well, these people want me to find it for them. You must not. The skull is hidden deep inside the temple. It was placed there by our gods to protect the Valley of the Mist. No one must ever remove it. Ever. Oh, okay. I'll forget I even heard about it. Aren't you guys too tall to be called pygmies? Just between you and me, Joe. We're not really pygmies. Pygmies are from Africa. We're Indians. Bob thought a pygmy village would be a good way to attract tourists. And is it? Well, it's more popular than a mighty nipper jungle water slide. Why is that? Because the splash pool is infested with piranhas. Nice talking to you, Chief. Nice talking to you too. Goodbye. What do you want, mortal?
What's with a cloak? Do you do magic? Like pulling a bunny out of a hat? Like this. Wow! Can you do that bunny rabbit trick again? Alright. Just one more time. Could you get my plane out of the water? That's not really my department. What you really need is a short green guy who is strong in the force. But that's an old story. I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. You are joking. What insolence. This is no time for levity. I didn't say I was joking. I said I was Joe King. As if I care. I'm preoccupied, so I'd appreciate it if you left. You sound upset, bud. What's the matter? It concerns you not, mortal. Now if you don't mind, I'm busy! Caught any big ones? I haven't caught anything. Now go away. You're scaring the fish. Are you fishing? No. I'm flying a kite. Of course I'm fishing. Look, the fish aren't biting, and I'm getting a little uptight. So would you please leave me alone? What sort of bait are you using? Bait? 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 What do you mean, bait? I think I know why you're not catching any fish. You need bait. How could I be so stupid? I've got the fishing rod, the fishing line, and the river full of fish. But I haven't got the bait. If I get you some bait, will you ferry me to Sloth Island? Mm. Very well. It's a deal. But I warn you. I'd better catch a fish, or I'll use you as bait. I found you some bait. Try this. Excellent. I finally caught a fish. Just let me know when you want to go to Sloth Island. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Who, me? Yes, you. That's my boat. Don't touch it. Sorry about that. I won't do it again. You better not. Are the fish still biting? I've had a few nibbles. Will you take me to Sloth Island now? Oh, alright. You fulfilled your end of the deal. Okay, let's go. Thanks for the ride. That's okay, mortal. Be careful. <laughs> I will.